הכל בספללי, את כבר שש נצ'י נצ'י, זיו של אללי, מגבעת חלפון ועד אסקימו לימון, מרמת הגולן עד לרמת הדרון, עושים סיבוב בשוק מכירי תלב ואת אלה, יום שישי קידוש ואז יוצאים עם כל החבר'ה, דתיים וחילונים, אמונה או קרמה, חומוס או פלאפל, דאפה שווארמה, כל יום חגיגה, כדורגל בשכונה, סוכריות בבר מצווה, רוקדים בחתונה, כולו מרחוד על השני, סולו בוזוקי יווני, קוסקוסים הפכו מרק, רגל תימני, דתיים וחילונים, אמונה או קרמה, חומוס או פלאפל, דאפה שווארמה, כל יום חגיגה, כדורגל בשכונה, סוכריות בבר מצווה, רוקדים בחתונה, כולו מרחוד על השני, סולו בוזוקי יווני, קוסקוסים הפכו מרק, רגל תימני, חביבי יען, ברזלים עדיין באותה פינה, שרים כאן את אותה מנגינה. במבה במבה, מסטיק חלמה, מתל אביב עד בן גוריון. שקל שקל, אוי כפרה, ארי קיינשטיין הגדול. היידה היידה, היידה היידה, למשטרה 100, דמקה דמקה, מטקה מטקה, אוהבים אותך שמעון
Impact. Inspiration. Passion. Excellence. Innovation. Because BGU is cutting edge, unraveling the secrets of life and humanity by conducting groundbreaking research, discovering solutions to the world's biggest challenges. Impact. Because BGU is the agent of change, with a myriad of people commuting into this vibrant ecosystem to study and work. Impact because the moving gear of thousands of IDF soldiers and officers caused science and engineering programs to boom. And the new North Campus doubles the university's size with its academic and research facilities, Congress Center, and so much more. Passion. Because work doesn't work without play, and campus life demands passion with a vibrant student body and amazing sense of community. Cultural and social events on campus and off. Parties, movie theaters, sports center, pubs, and restaurants. So much energy. Excellence. With three campuses, six faculties, six national institutes, and three affiliated hospitals. 20,000 enrolled students, a third of whom participate in advanced research programs. 6,700 employees, cooperation with universities throughout the world, and hundreds of overseas students from more than 50 countries. Innovation. Because with a high-tech park alongside campus, BGU is at the heart of Beersheba, making it Israel's cyber capital, a Silicon Valley of the Middle East where leading global companies come to leverage the university's expertise. With 2,500 employees, 60% of whom are BGU graduates. Because in this place, world-class research and global enterprise flourish, generating economic growth with more potential profit per dollar than any other investment in Israel today. Because a rising tide lifts all boats. Finally, inspiration and excellence together make Ben-Gurion University of the Negev the fastest growing research university in Israel, fulfilling the vision of Israel's first prime minister who said, the future of Israel will emerge from the Negev. Shalom. Hello, everybody. We're so glad to have you all here with us today, in the virtual sense, that is, for our exciting program, Celebrating the Remarkable. I'm Noah Tishby, and I'm honored to be hosting this remarkable event on behalf of American Associates, Ben Gurion University, also known as AABGU. Some of you might recognize me from Israeli film and TV. Others may know the HBO hit series I've produced, In Treatment. You might be familiar with my advocacy work, Standing Up for Israel. And now I'm proud to be here as the author of a new book, Israel, A Simple Guide to the Most Misunderstood Country on Earth. As an Israeli American who was born and raised in Tel Aviv, I couldn't be more thrilled to join AABGU on such a special occasion. It's really no surprise that I'm excited to be hosting this event. AABGU serves a vital role when it comes to supporting an amazing, a remarkable university. And I must say that as a native Israeli, BGU makes me incredibly proud. As you'll learn today, BGU's faculty and students are making not just the neg of bloom, but also improving the rest of the world, which is amazing. So, as you sit in front of your screen, on your own or with your family right now, it may not feel like you're surrounded by many others who are also watching, but you are. More than a thousand of you have joined us today to make this the largest single event in AABGU history. What a joy it is for all of us to come together to celebrate the remarkable Dr. Ruth. And yes, she is remarkable, one of a kind and a legend. We're also excited to be celebrating dedicated volunteer and philanthropist Tony Young today, along with Philip Gompertz, who stewarded the largest donation in Israel's history. You know, it's not often that organizations recognize the professionals who work behind the scenes. So, as you can tell, this is a remarkable event for all sorts of reasons. I must say it's also pretty amazing that there are so many generous sponsors and over 50 community partners from across the country involved with this event. Remarkable! By the way, if you're enjoying a beverage of your choice while watching this, feel free to take a sip every time the R word is mentioned. Remarkable. And if you're live tweeting during this event or posting elsewhere on social media, make sure to include the hashtag RemarkableRuth. Oh, and, and listen, you're going to want to stick around until the end for all sorts of reasons. I can't give it away, but I promise it's going to be worth it. So as you can tell, we have lots to look forward to for today's program. So let's get going. 
It's now my privilege to welcome Gary DeBodi, President of the Board of Directors of American Associates, Ben Gurion University, to the virtual stage. Hello everyone and welcome to Celebrating the Remarkable. We are thrilled to have so many friends join us today. My name is Gary DeBodi and I'm the President of American Associates of Ben Gurion University. Our success is all about the people we attract and today we are honored to recognize three of our most inspiring leaders, Tony Young, Philip Gompertz, and Dr. Ruth K. Westheimer, who exemplify amazing leadership and generosity in their work to support the development of BGU into a world-class research and higher education institution for global impact and the cultivation of the Negev community as leaders for the social and economic growth of Israel. I want to thank our generous sponsors and community partners. We are so grateful for your help in making this event and our work possible. Now let's get this remarkable event started by turning the mic over to Doug Sesserman, our CEO since 2017, following a successful 15-year tenure as president and CEO of Jewish Colorado, the Federation in Denver. Doug is inspired by BGU's work in the Negev and is a huge fan of the man he affectionately refers to as the number two Jew. After Moses, of course, founding prime minister David Ben-Gurion whose vision for the Negev as the future of Israel is being realized today by the very university that bears his name. Doug, please take it away. Thank you, Gary. We're so fortunate to have you as the president of our board of directors. Hello, I'm Doug Sesserman, and I am privileged to serve as the chief executive officer of American Associates Ben Gurion University of the Negev. We've been looking forward to today's exciting virtual event for quite some time. It's wonderful to have all of you here with us, celebrating the remarkable Ben Gurion University, as well as our remarkable honorees. We know many of you are here joining us for the very first time and may be asking, what does AABGU do and why does it matter? So let me take a moment to explain. AABGU does three things, and all of them are in fulfillment of David Ben-Gurion's vision for the Negev and the future of Israel. First, we raise awareness for BGU and the unique role it plays, not only as an educational and research institution, but also as the engine for growth of the Negev region. Second, we raise financial resources, as the majority of philanthropic support to the university comes from the United States. And third, we run programs like our signature Zen Fellows Leadership Program that engages and immerses the next generation of American leaders in both the Negev and BGU's vital work. Why does this matter? We're at a moment in time when we can't take Israel's future for granted. Unfortunately, too much time is spent today arguing about what's wrong with Israel and not enough time is spent focusing on what's right. Well, that's where we come in. You see, our work transcends political differences. Our work is about educating 20,000 students, most of them Israeli, representing diverse segments of society. In fact, we have more Bedouin students than any other university in Israel. We also educate some 1,000 international students who study in English from over 50 countries around the world. If you really want to create a cadre of young international ambassadors for Israel, have them come study at BGU. Our work is about breakthrough science, addressing some of the world's most pressing problems, public health and medical issues like COVID-19, cancer and brain science, contemporary challenges like cybersecurity, and fundamental global concerns like environmental sustainability, renewable energy, agriculture, water, and the climate. Our work is about the contributions to society from our alumni, like the remarkable work done this year by Dr. Tal Zaks in developing a COVID-19 vaccine as the chief medical officer of Moderna. Our work is about collaborating with top tier universities around the world like the recently announced Institute for Future Technologies between Ben Gurion University and the New Jersey Institute of Technology. And finally, our work is about innovation. In fact, BGU was recently acknowledged once again 
as one of the top 50 universities in the world for entrepreneurship. Some might even call our walkable main campus in Beersheba the startup nation on steroids. The bottom line is we offer a terrific opportunity to support and rally around the best accomplishments of modern Israel in a part of the country that no one is arguing about. In fact, we believe that BGU serves as a migdalor, a beacon of light that emanates from the Negev desert. By supporting BGU and the transformative impact of its students, faculty, and administration, we move beyond present day challenges and pave the way toward a brighter tomorrow. We at AABGU and BGU often think of ourselves as a best kept secret. We're hoping that programs like today's will change all that. We also love to partner with other organizations. Please join us for future webinars and events to get a glimpse into our work and see how our content fits within the pro-Israel programming of your synagogue, church, or favorite local or national pro-Israel organization. We hope you will get involved with us. And when you can, we'd love to help plan a visit to one or more of our three campuses in Beersheba, Stebo Care, and Eilat. You really haven't seen the future of Israel until you've spent time in the Negev. And you really haven't seen the Negev until you spent time at Ben Gurion University. Thank you again for joining us. And as they say, now on with the show. Thank you, Doug. It's now time to celebrate one of our remarkable honorees. Tony Young is an author, historian, and a community leader. From Delaware to the Negev, she has made a wide range of significant contributions to society with her volunteer work. Tony has been involved with AABGU for over a decade. In 2014, she teamed up with one of the world's major literary figures, Amos Oz, to form BGU's Amos Oz Initiative for Literature and Culture. Tony has a prolific background when it comes to community leadership. Just to give you a tiny taste of her background, she was the first female president of the Jewish Federation of Delaware, served as the president of the Grand Opera House, and is the current vice chair of the Board of Governors at BGU. Her years of community-based experience, along with her passion towards history, had led her to write several books, including Becoming American, Remaining Jewish, a history of the first Jewish community in Wilmington, Delaware. In Tony's words, literature is what expresses what a society needs. There's a lot more I can tell you about her inspiring work, but for now, let's watch the moving tribute that American Associates Ben Gurion University has put together to honor AABGU's past president, Tony Young. Thank you so much, Tony, for making this competition and initiative possible. It did have a very large impact on my life. What I really admire about Tony is her very thoughtful, just do it attitude. She leads by example. Her attention to detail is incredible and she just does it. Hey Tony, um, for those people who know you and love you as I do, I can only imagine that the idea of a tribute to Tony is something which you absolutely hate because it's never about you in your mind. Well, today it is about you. I am so, so honored to have been asked to say something to you. Um, we've known each other for many years, but the last year has been incredibly intense. Only a year ago, at Lloyd Goldsman's request, you established the Global Development Committee. And since then, we have been on such an adventure together with people from over 12 countries working on behalf of BGU. You are so admired by the AABGU staff like no one else. You lead by example and are a role model for what it means to be a great lay leader. וגם נזמין אנשים מחול, ואנחנו נשמח לראות כמובן גם אתכם, ובראש ובראשונה את טוני, שאני מקווה מאוד שתגיע לאירוע הפתיחה. 
I'm particularly indebted to Tony for having this uh, scholarship, and I'm very proud of it. Thank you for encouraging all the people in Arad to write. Mazal tov, Mom. I'm so proud of you and everything you do. It's amazing everything you do for the world, the community, or us, or your family. And I'm so grateful that you are our mom and Anna. You are the best. We love you so much. I admire you so much for your passion for Israel and BGU, whatever you do. I am thrilled that AABGU and Ben Gurion University gets a huge amount of your attention. Thank you for being such a good friend to me and my wife, Sue. Congratulations and Mazal Tov. Congratulations, Mom. It's so fabulous that you're getting this honor. I'm honored to be recognized by a remarkable university that I love and to be honored along with such important and deserving people as Philip Gompers and Dr. Ruth. But I want to flip this and thank all of you, the talented, dedicated professionals and volunteers who I've enjoyed working with over this last decade. Together, we have made AABGU stronger than ever in its ability to promote and support BGU. Working with all of you has been exciting and rewarding. I feel that I've gained far more than I've given. Let me tell you a little bit about another remarkable honoree we're paying tribute to today, Philip Gompertz. At the beginning of today's program, I mentioned that Philip stewarded the largest donation in Israel's history. The story behind this historic donation is so amazing that there's even a movie being made about it as we speak, a feature documentary called Who Are the Marcuses? Before passing away, California-based Holocaust refugee Lottie and Dr. Howard Marcus bequeathed most of their fortune to Ben Gurion University of the Negev to study water management following the suggestion of their daughter, Ella Marcus. I'd say that it's pretty remarkable, wouldn't you? To this day, Ellen Marcus remains very enthusiastically involved with AABGU. So wait a second, who introduced the Marcuses to BGU? Philip Gompertz. The recently retired director of AABGU's Southwest region, Philip, was born and bred in South Africa to a staunchly Zionist family. A Johannesburg food distributor, Philip spent many years running the business his father had built from scratch. While South Africa was undergoing a period of political turmoil, he ended up having to sell his family business shortly after surviving a horrific, life-threatening attack. Philip went on to start a new life in California with his family. He met the Marcus family a couple of years after joining AABGU, and as he describes it, it was love at first sight. And speaking of love at first sight, Philip gives his wife, Yvonne, considerable credit for the special relationship that flourished between the Gompertz and the Marcuses. Over the course of his time at AABGU, Philip Gompertz helped raise $650 million towards Ben Gurion University. According to Philip, he was always emotionally involved in his work with BGU as someone who believes very strongly in the future of the Negev and the future of BGU. Now, Let's take a look at this loving tribute to the remarkable Philip Gompertz. Hi, I'm Daron Krakow. It's my special honor to have the opportunity to take part in this particular tribute to a great friend and a remarkable colleague, Philip Gompertz. Philip's handiwork can be found in named facilities and institutions across the university's campuses where Field and Weiss, Glazer, and of course Marcus are practically ubiquitous. He's also been a builder, creating a core of support and partnership here in the United States. Philip has always had a clear understanding of our unique privilege to be part of a generation that has taken part in building the modern state of Israel. And he has a clear understanding of our responsibilities as the stewards of this particular link in the chain of Jewish history. I will always be grateful for all that you and Yvonne did for my parents and for me. 
including introducing them to BGU, becoming a son to my father, escorting my parents from San Diego to Israel for the naming of the Marcus Family Campus in 2005. I appreciate and value your integrity, intelligence, love for BGU, your warmth, genuine kindness, and generosity of spirit. Philip, you truly deserve this honor. You are a remarkable fundraiser. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, if there were a Jewish Fundraisers Hall of Fame, you would be the inaugural member. You stewarded the largest single gift in Israel's history. We are so proud of what you accomplished for Ben Gurion University, for Israel, and for the Jewish people. Thank you for being my colleague, mentor, and friend. Congratulations. We have worked for quite a few years together, attending events, meeting donors, breaking bread. I realized very soon what a great fundraiser you are. I was impressed by how your donors loved and admired you and how you managed to connect them to Ben Gurion University. Mazel Tov Zaya! We love you. Mazel Tov. Enjoy your retirement. Mazel Tov. We love you. We love you. I would like to say to everyone who I had the privilege of working with and meeting during my tenure that it's been an absolute pleasure meeting with you, working with you, and having been able to get to know. Uh, you uh, very intimately in many cases. Um, you're all part of a wonderful team of donors and fundraisers and administrators, and you all do a wonderful job. And please keep up the good work. Do the good things that you have been doing all along, and you'll all be very successful. And I'm sure that Ben Gurion University will go from strength to strength. What a wonderful tribute. Congratulations to both Philip Gompertz and Tony Young. Coming up next, joining us all the way from Israel, Ben Gurion University President, Professor Daniel Chemovich. A native of Ellipiquil, Pennsylvania, Professor Chemovich immigrated to Israel in 1984. An internationally recognized activist for plant sciences and their contribution to feeding the growing world population, he has lectured at botanical gardens around the world and at venues that include the California Academy of Science, Harvard Arboretum, and Seattle Town Hall. Now, let's welcome Ben Gurion University President, Professor Daniel Chemovich. I'm so happy to have the opportunity to honor Tony Young, my first ABGU president, who taught me so much about the BGU spirit and Philip Gompartz, whose truly remarkable philanthropic endeavors have given me the resources to pursue my dreams for BGU. I am so indebted to both of you. Today, we celebrate the remarkable, and indeed, no word better captures BGU. Its mission, its faculty, its students, its supporters, its impact. Two years ago, in my inaugural address as president of Ben Gurion University of the Negev, I stated, BGU embodies everything that brought me to Israel and everything that is great about Israel today. Now I want to take that statement one step further and state emphatically that I now realize that Ben Gurion University is the most important institution of higher learning for the future of Israel. The math is simple. Decades ago, David Ben-Gurion said that the future of Israel will arise from the Negev. And today that is more clear than ever before. Second, for the Negev to succeed, Beersheba must grow into a thriving cosmopolitan metropolis that will attract young people from all over Israel to build their futures. And finally, the engine driving the development of Beersheba is Ben-Gurion University of the Negev. We are the city's largest employer we provide the high-tech graduates building the advanced technology park. We are at the center of the developing innovation district. And we are the reason that the IDF has decided to move its advanced intelligence units from the center of the country to the south, adjacent to our campus. 
So considering that Israel is dependent on the Negev, and the Negev is dependent on Be'er Sheva, and Be'er Sheva is dependent on BGU, so it only makes sense that the future of Israel is also dependent on BGU, on all of us. What we have accomplished over the past half century is nothing short of remarkable. The list is so long that I'm sure to insult someone by just giving a few examples, but I'll take the risk. Who could have imagined that BGU would house the nation's leading center for cybersecurity research? Now say it with me, remarkable. Who could have predicted that representatives from Abu Dhabi and Dubai would be courting us to take part in the world-leading research at the Blaustein Institutes for Desert Research in our Stable Care campus, looking for advanced water, energy, and desert agriculture solutions? Remarkable. Who could have imagined that BGU would house the National Autism Research Center, one of the world's leading centers? Remarkable. How about our alumni who have literally changed the world and include not only Tal Zaks, but the vice presidents of LinkedIn and Facebook, just to name a few? Remarkable. And 50 years after our founding, our commitment to our community is more alive and flourishing than ever. We were the only university in Israel who guaranteed that no student would be left behind because of the economic crisis caused by the pandemic. Over 25% of our students received extra financial aid this year because of you, because of the commitment of all of us to the future of Israel, our students. Our commitment to excellence and to impact is also seen in the recently announced BGU School of Sustainability and Climate Change. Over 150 researchers from all campuses and all faculties have come together to build Israel's largest and most diverse, supradisciplinary school dedicated to solving this century's biggest challenge, living on our planet in a sustainable fashion so that our children and our grandchildren can also enjoy the riches of our world. This is just a taste. I'd love to go on more. But we have one very excited young woman who I don't think can wait anymore for the next part of celebrating the remarkable. So as soon as it's safe, Come visit, and I'll give you a personal tour. Shalom, friends and colleagues in the USA, Israel, and around the world. And of course, shalom to Dr. Ruth Westheimer and her family. It has become cliche to say that we have learned new ways of interacting. While we would have all rather be celebrating together, in person, in the Zonenfeld Auditorium, in the Marcus Family Campus, I am so proud of this remarkable first virtual honorary doctorate ceremony, and I want to thank the many people involved in arranging it. I am confident that next year, we can celebrate together at the 2022 Board of Governors meeting at Ben Gurion University of the Negev. The honorary doctorate is the highest academic honor that our university bestows. We award honorary degrees to persons who have distinguished themselves by academic or creative excellence or through activities of notable benefit to society and humanity as a whole. We bestow the doctorate honoris causa upon individuals who exemplify the characteristics that we wish to hold up as inspiration to our students and as role models of our own community of scientists, scholars, and supporters. Dr. Ruth Westheimer clearly represents all these values and more. Courage to survive as a child of the Holocaust, to fight for the founding of Israel, to build new lives in new countries, and courage to break accepted codes of what is to be discussed in public. Persistence to continue despite resistance, creativity to create culture, dialogue, books, and shows. Dr. Ruth, your commitment to taking sexuality out of the clinic and into the living room bettered the lives of millions. By accepting an honorary degree from BGU, you provide us a mirror through which we hope to see a bit of ourselves and honor our institution for what it stands for. Indeed, our university's success is tied to its commitment to instilling values in its students 
and in the academic products that result from years of persistence and of commitment to excellence. Our ability to impact Be'er Sheva and the Negev, to impact Israel and to impact the world, derives first and foremost from our commitment to academic excellence. Similarly, Dr. Ruth's remarkable influence derives from her strong academic work. Dr. Ruth used her impressive academic training from the University of Paris, the New School, and Columbia University, and her reputation derived from her appointments at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Lehman College, Brooklyn College, Idefi University, Columbia University, and even West Point, to build the reputation which allowed her to be listened to. And we all listened to this tiny woman with a huge heart and even larger desire to change the world. Dr. Ruth, thank you for helping us raise funds for the Dr. Ruth Westheimer Scholarship in Psychology, which will be awarded annually to two outstanding students. In this way, your name will be tied to BGU forever. I am looking forward to your next trip to Israel so that you can bestow these scholarships in person. In closing, I wonder what David Ben-Gurion would have to say about us honoring you. I know that you have your own theories about Ben-Gurion's private life, so I'll leave us all with a quote from Ben-Gurion's grandson, Dr. Yuriv Ben-Eliezer. In response to rumors of certain amorous activities of young people around his grandparents' grave, he responded enthusiastically. If the information is correct, it makes me very happy that my grandfather, years after his death, serves as an inspiration to young people. You, Dr. Ruth, continue to inspire millions with your remarkable life's work. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, welcome to this virtual ceremony conferring an honorary doctorate on Ruth Westheimer, or Dr. Ruth, as she is more commonly referred to, probably the only person capable of using a citation from Pirkei Avot, Ethics of the Fathers, as a dedication for her best-selling book, Sex for Dummies, and Getting Away with It. We will now proceed with the conferring of the honorary doctoral degree. The University honors Dr. Ruth Westheimer and confers upon her an honorary doctorate. declare the state of Israel to be a state. I was in Jerusalem. He talked on the radio in Tel Aviv and we danced the entire night. In 1939, I was sent with a group of children on a kinder transport to Switzerland, hoping the parents could uh, leave Germany, which did not happen and all of us, 50 of us, became orphans of the Holocaust while in Switzerland. Now, I then went to Palestine before it was Israel. I lived in Israel for six years. I fought in the Haganah in the War of Independence in 1948. I was very badly wounded, both legs. <laughs> That's not why I'm short. I would have been short anyway. I believe that it's easy for me to talk about issues of sexuality because in the Jewish tradition, sex has never been considered a sin. It is very important to keep the art of conversation alive. We are losing that because everybody is on their iPhone all the time. So I did the fourth edition of Sex for Dummies and I right there how important it is to know, to make time for sex, not to just leave it in the evening and then not have time enough to satisfy your partner. Make sure that you keep time and effort alive in terms of being in a good relationship. I have spent time in Beersheba because I did a film, a documentary, about the Bedouins, specifically the Bedouin women, and the problems that they have. And this is a delight for me, that now I have a book on the Bedouin women, 
and I have a film on the Bedouin women, and now I'm getting an honorary doctorate from Ben Gurion University in the same city, in Beersheba, and I'm establishing a scholarship so that more students will be able to study. And I decided that the scholarship is going to be a scholarship in psychology, and it will be a scholarship in perpetuity, forever. And who knows, maybe a Bedouin woman might apply and might win it. The moment I heard, I'm getting an honorary degree at Ben Gurion University in the Negev, I thought, if only Ben Gurion would be alive, I would be so happy because he was short and he was brilliant. The Senate and the Executive Committee of Ben-Gurion University of the Negev hereby resolve to honor Dr. Ruth Westheimer in recognition of a trailblazing researcher and therapist who advanced the field of human sexuality and revolutionized its public discussion with admiration for her unique and bold media persona as the authority on sex education advancing the popular understanding of sexuality through groundbreaking radio and television shows and winning the hearts of her audiences with her unflagging enthusiasm. With respect for an erudite scholar, author of dozens of books, who has given generously of her time and energy to public speaking and educating the next generation of students and researchers. In tribute to a true friend of the Strait of Israel, who lost her entire family in the Holocaust, made Aliyah, fought fearlessly for the survival of the fledging state and was severely injured in the War of Independence. With heartfelt appreciation for her generous support of psychology students at Ben-Gurion University of the Negev, and with sincere gratitude for speaking publicly, freely and openly about private, often hidden matters that are nonetheless the bedrock of our existence, and for decades of singular activity that has profoundly affected the lives of people across the globe, by conferring upon her the degree of Doctor Philosophiae Honoris Causa, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. I would like to thank you for joining us today and look forward to seeing you all in person together with Dr. Ruth here at Ben Gurion University of the Negev in next year's honorary doctorate ceremony. Congratulations and Mazal Tov, Dr. Ruth. We're all so happy for you now that you've received your first and only honorary doctorate from an Israeli university, BGU. Simply remarkable, as you are. All right, now who's ready for some comedy gold? I know I am. Up next, you're gonna wanna watch this fun interview between AABGU's CEO and the recipient of BGU's honorary doctorate, the woman of the hour, the one and only, Dr. Ruth. Dr. Ruth, Mazal Tov, congratulations on your honorary doctorate. Okay, you see what I'm wearing? Every day, the Ben-Gurion pin. Every day. So I love it. I, I don't know what to call you now. Do we call you Dr. Dr. Ruth? No, just one doctor is enough. Doug, you have to tell the entire Ben-Gurion family how delighted I am. You can see it on my face. I'm jumping up and down for joy because I have a few doctorates from America, but this is my first from Israel. Let, like let's a, talk about Israel just for a second. So as we know, you, you, you referred to yourself as an orphan of the Holocaust. You left Germany at 10 on the kinder transport. Eventually you made your way to a pre-state Palestine when you were 17. You you're 20 years old. You served in the uh, Haganah when Israel becomes a state. What did Israel mean to you then? And what does it mean to you today? What does Israel mean? Israel means that never again do we have to think, where can I go as a Jew? So uh, I am 
so happy that Ben Gurion University is going to have me visit, give a lecture on sex, and be associated with you, not just today, from now on, when Gurion University in the Negev is going to have a big part of my life on my tongue, in my words, and you know that I talk from morning to night. So I will talk a lot about the honorary. Did you, can you do that? Ah, honorary. I can't, uh, honorary. No, I, I can't roll it. my R's like you do. <laughs> Dr. Ruth, what was sexy to you about David Ben Gurion? His brain and his determination. I was in Israel when Ben Gurion declared the state of Israel. Some people had told him at the United Nations and other people not to declare Israel. And he was determined. You know, people are saying now that vaccinations are, the, a lot of our population has been vaccinated. They're calling this the summer of sex in 2021. What advice do you have for people after the pandemic? Okay, the first advice, listen all carefully. Ben Gurion people, not to talk about the misery. We all know how difficult it is. We know how many people we lost. We know all of the difficulties. Don't talk about that anymore. But I don't talk about the difficulty. I want to talk about positive things. Now, not so easy because you have to train yourself. So I suggest some fantasies. Make believe that you wear your best ski outfit, <laughs> the one that fits you the best. Make believe you take a good looking ski instructor Hopefully not married, but if he's married, don't touch him. Take him up the mountain and down the mountain as often as you like. Then invite him for dinner. I'm not talking about sex. The fantasies, they have a reason to think about something positive. You are German, you're Israeli, you're American. Let's talk about Israelis. What makes it's, Israelis so sexy? First of all, they're so good looking. But that's not the only thing. What makes them sexy for someone like me is their enthusiasm about that country, that little sliver, and where we have to be so grateful. You've also written about sexuality and Judaism. Yes. So Guess what? what? Hallelujah. Why is sex so important to Judaism? Hallelujah. Look at that book. Just now, NYU Press, brought it out again, it is now a classic and it will never be out of print. So I'm very happy. Why is it so important? Because all of you Ben Gurion people, I talk about orgasm, I talk about erection and lubrication and sex all day long. I talk about all of these things, but I'm old fashioned and a square. There are many wonderful women out there but the husband says to the wife, you are the very best of them. That's the most sexually arousing sentence that a husband can tell his wife. It says in this book, I'm quoting the, the traditional, that it says, if a man brings his wife, not just any woman, his wife, to sexual satisfaction before he ejaculates, She's going to have a son. Never in my professional life did I think I would be able to do an interview with Dr. Ruth where she'd explain that to me. <laughs> I want Ben Gurion University to do a study because I need somebody to do a scientifically valid study. If that's well, I can't true. I can't wait to see what Ben Gurion University President Daniel Shamovitz comes up with in terms of designing <laughs> that laboratory. But you need money for it, so get money. Call Something the laboratory. tells me we'll be able to raise money for that. Call the laboratory Dr. Ruth Lab. There is no Dr. Ruth Lab in the whole world. You'll be the first. Dr. Ruth's Lover Laboratory at Ben Gurion University of the Negev. I like it. Well, Dr. Ruth, you're one of a kind, a true international Jewish treasure. Thank you so much for just being you. The world has been a better place because you have been in it. Thank you. I'm still in it. I know you are. Thank you so much. 
תודה רבה, כל טוב ולהתראות בארץ ישראל בקרוב. Not סתם, but בקרוב. Means soon. ביי, שלום, שלום. שלום, דאג. שלום. That was, that was good. That was really good. She's always great. All right. Now we have a very special surprise coming up your way. As we approach the end of our event, we're about to embark on a new and inspiring beginning. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, all I have to say is you don't want to miss the next part of this program. There's a pretty major announcement coming your way. Watch this. The future of Israel will emerge from the Negev. David Ben-Gurion said these words long ago. When it comes to the Negev, Ben-Gurion didn't just see a vast barren desert making up 60% of the land. He saw the future. And he was right. Israel's founder, first prime minister, and namesake of our university, Ben-Gurion was a visionary who led by dreaming big. Thanks to the creative, brilliant minds at Ben-Gurion University of the Negev, innovative solutions are solving some of Israel's and the world's most challenging problems. Today, the Negev region is thriving. It has become the beating heart of modern Israel, pulsing with even more potential than what's already there. And it's just the beginning. BGU has developed a remarkable model of education and multidisciplinary research. Its entrepreneurial spirit and innovation is driving the economic development of the entire Negev region. And today, we proudly unveil our new name, Americans for Ben-Gurion University. We are Americans living in the diaspora. Our aim is to launch a movement among those who believe the world is simply better off because Israel is in it. We believe in Israel. We believe in David Ben-Gurion's dream. We are Americans for Ben-Gurion University. Join us. Together we will be partners in the remarkable. Wow. All right, I don't know about you, but that made me incredibly excited for the next chapter when it comes to Americans for Ben-Gurion University. What a reveal. And now, ladies and gentlemen, meet a few of the Americans for Ben-Gurion University. I'm an American for Ben Gurion University because great things are coming out of the Negev and I want to be a part of it. I am an American for Ben Gurion University because it's this incredible institution in the middle of the desert. I am an American for Ben Gurion University because in the words of our founder, David Ben Gurion, it is in the Negev that the creativity and pioneer vigor of Israel shall be tested. Because like David Ben Gurion, I believe that nothing is impossible. I'm an American for Ben Gurion University because it's all about our future. Ben Gurion University is solving world problems. Improving the lives of Israeli citizens as well as the lives of people all over the world. I am an American for Ben Gurion University because I fell in love with Israel through the Negev. I'm an American for Ben Gurion University because I fell in love with a woman who fell in love with the Negev. Because knowledge makes the world a better place. Because I support alternative energy. Because of BGU's scientific innovation. Because of climate change and I care about animals. Because BGU is securing a better future for us and for our family. Because of my father and mother who started that tradition when there were four buildings in the Negev. Because I have a pioneering spirit just like BGU. And I understand BGU is so central to the future of Israel. Because I love your research projects. For inspiring our family to do projects like this. I love you, David Ben-Gurion. I love David Ben-Gurion. He's a cutie. <laughs> Winners, are you an American for Ben-Gurion University? <gasps> you are! Ben-Gurion University is fulfilling Israel's role to be a light 
unto the nation. I'm an American for BGU. I'm an American for Ben Gurion University. I'm an American for Ben Gurion University. I'm an American for Ben Gurion University. I am an American for Ben Gurion University. As we just heard, there's so many great reasons to join such an important movement in pursuit of David Ben-Gurion's vision. You can be partners in The Remarkable too. Just text the number at the bottom of your screen, 646-791-1918, with the word Remarkable, to learn more about joining the movement. Americans for Ben-Gurion University. That has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. I'm an Israeli-American for Ben-Gurion University, too, because I believe the world is simply better because Israel is in it. So, on behalf of Americans for Ben-Gurion University, thank you so much for joining us today. Take care. Stay safe. Oh, 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 oh,